Hello and welcome to our collective worship this week. The Lord be with you and also with you. Today we think about our value for this half of term of forgiveness, what it means to be forgiven and what it is to forgive other people. Today our story is about somebody who had a lot to think about when it came to forgiveness because they are somebody who changed their ways quite a lot. If what they're like at the beginning of their life, or the beginning of the story and what they're like at the end, it almost feels like they're two completely different people. And it starts with the story of a man called Saul. A young man from the city of Tarsus called Saul was one of the worst enemies of the Christians. He was a strict Jew who liked to persecute the Christians by getting them put in jail or even killed. Saul was convinced that the old Jewish way was right and that Jesus was wrong. So he got permission to go and persecute the Christians and he thought that that would please God. Saul got permission from the high priest to go to the city of Damascus and to hunt for more Christians there and bring them back to Jerusalem and put them in prison. Damascus was a long way, about a five day journey from Jerusalem, so Saul set off on his journey. He was travelling along the road when suddenly a blinding light flashed down from heaven. He fell to the ground with his hands over his eyes and then he heard a voice call out, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul was very frightened and said, Who are you, sir? I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting, said the voice. Now get up and go to the city and I will tell you what to do next. The men Saul was travelling with were amazed because they could hear the voice, but they couldn't see anyone. When Paul got up, he found that he was blind. He could see nothing at all. And the men had to lead him to Damascus. He stayed blind for three days, during which time he had nothing to eat or drink. Now there was a Christian in Damascus called Ananias. And God spoke to Ananias in a dream and told him to go to a house on Straight Street where he'd find a man called Saul. But Ananias had heard how cruel and awful Saul was and he was frightened. Saul's come to Damascus to arrest and kill all the Christians, he said. I'm too scared to go near him. But God said, I have chosen Saul to tell people about me. Go, find him now. So Ananias went to the house. Hello, Saul, he said. I've been sent by the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road. Immediately, something like scales fell away from Saul's eyes and he could see again. And he was filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. He was baptised and became a Christian. And from then on, he was known by the Roman name of Paul. Soon, he was telling everyone the good news about Jesus. He even wrote many letters and travelled all over the world, all over the Mediterranean, telling people about Jesus. And Paul even ended up being persecuted and chased out of places because he was telling people about Jesus. It was like he had completely turned around from the person who was trying to arrest and hurt the friends of Jesus to becoming somebody who was persecuted himself because of what he was saying about Jesus. You see, that's quite an amazing change. His name changed from Saul to Paul. He was somebody who hated Christians to someone who became a Christian. He was somebody who taught that Christians were wrong to becoming somebody who taught about Jesus and taught other Christians. There's probably lots more other things that you can think of as well. Also think it's quite amazing how difficult it must have been for Ananias 
knowing how awful Saul was and how dangerous it was, but he had faith to go and to go and find Saul and go and, and speak to him and, and do as God told him. Two questions to think about today. I wonder, I wonder in what ways Saul changed. I wonder in what ways Saul changed. And I wonder, have you ever changed your mind about something or someone? I wonder, have you ever changed your mind about something or someone? Time to think, time to pray. So let's be still, let us be quiet and let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for Saul who became Paul. Thank you that you appeared to him and that through him you have helped lots of other people to understand about Jesus. Amen. And let's say the prayer which Jesus taught us to say. <coughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So this day, may God bless you. May God be with you. May God help you to know what it is to be forgiven and to forgive others when you have to do that as well. And may God's peace and God's blessing in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all this day and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen.